No more delays. Well, no more delays when we pass through October. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that's one thing that I'm going to tell you. There will be progress. There'll be progress as soon as you make that decision that you have been delaying. So when you really break it down, I'm not trying to blame you here. I'm just putting you on the spot. Why you haven't made that decision? I, I don't know. Should I? Well, you are about to. One of my biggest regrets is not knowing about Diwali. And I don't want to gatekeep from you guys. Four years ago, I had no money. Now I have my dream home, my dream car, and the most amazing relationship. I created this talisman with the most strongest crystal for this Diwali that helped me manifest my dreams. Amber for fame. Green adventuring for luck. Red jade for soulmate. Amethyst for protection. And citrine for wealth. It took me four years to turn my life around. But for you, it could be at your doorstep tomorrow. So visit my website, eatreadlove.me. Because you will feel forced to make this decision about this relationship. Chances are before the 22nd of October. And there's a period between October 22nd to November 15th that can be a little bit intense um, for you. So I would, I would listen to this. Okay? So, but before that, we have a super full moon coming in. Okay, coming in, bringing in the abundance on the 17th for you. So it's very, very advisable for you to do a ritual that day. This is the moonstone of power. No, it's a moonstone magic, I call it. Okay. Uh, which you can get. It's free, of course. A uh, moonstone can help you attract that wealth because it's happening in your second house. Just in case you want more money. But if you don't, you don't have to, okay? Uh, I don't force nobody to manifest here. I'm just telling them what's good, okay? So this is the uh, Miracle Diwali. I'll tell you why it's a miracle oh, in a little while. And of course, it comes with a free lamp later. We'll talk more about it because this is free. Uh, manifestation masters if you're there then chances are you already know the secret formula or if you haven't been there for uh, how to manifest uh, when you're manifesting how to get 100% success okay so I shared it the secret down there and you also get your manifestation masters kit uh, <laughs> so let's see what's going on here I'm gonna do your chart as well Aquarian Mm-hmm. The success. Look at that. Mm hmm The sun card. Amazing. Oh, let me open your chart as well. Okay. Now into row, the sun is are you here for your appointment, ma'am? <laughs> so into row okay. Um the sun rules your uh it's the most happiest card, okay? In astrology, the sun rules the seventh. Uh, doesn't make sense for you. It's like, what does it mean, rules the seventh? If you want to understand your relationship, understand the sun. Because that's the nature of your relationship. You have this person who's always about their ego. And you're all about like, I want us to be okay. But they're always about, no, is me. Mm. That's the nature. Of your relationship ever wonder why you always attract the narcissist okay not that not officially diagnosed by doctors but um you know because you have to be people use this word uh, very loosely but um the sun can reflect the ego but this is brahman of course um you know the source where we're all created but just looking at you aquarian if you will really understand the nature of the lord of your seventh house then you can win in any relationship. You won't have, you don't need to, there's no struggle. Because there will be acceptance. Okay, so listen carefully. The sign has moved now to its debilitation sign. Or it's about to. Um, I believe middle of October. When the sun moves out of Virgo and then goes to Libra. Yes, because we would have a Diwali also. Mm. So when the seventh house Lord moves now to its debilitation sign, the sun does not want to be in Libra because Libra is about service through others. You know, sun is the king. That's why it wants to be in Aries. So here, the relationship that you probably have and always like, oh, you know what? I want to see the truth about this. It's going to, it's going to give, sh it's going to shed light. I like it when it's weak. It's very interesting. I'm a different kind of uh, astrologer. 
I like planets that are weak because the weak planet, you see what's wrong. <laughs> okay, a benefic planet which is strong also, like what what's good? Like no happiness. It's like but what is it? At least I know what is in the dark when sun goes to the Libra to Libra for you. Now your wish is being fulfilled though, because you want to see the truth here. It is gonna be in your ninth house, so the seventh house, Lord in the ninth, faith will be restored in the relationship. Okay, but you will, as someone will have to admit first that they made a mistake. So the weakness, I like it because if they made something uh, or if they did something wrong to you, and the graha is at its weakest, um, their guard is down. Then communication can come easy and healing can start. Mm. So that's the sun for you. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, the sun and the moon. Okay. I don't know why I have to do that. Okay. <laughs> Just being extra every time. Alam mo na, pag Pilipino, yung kailangan talaga kumijante ka kung hindi ka bumibenta. Okay. <laughs> So, the moon over here, okay, is reflecting the nurturing of this relationship. I like this, sorry. Okay. The, the part where you will make a decision in this relationship, because you have a page already. You're all gonna open up to them. You're gonna express to them the truth also. <laughs> Walang! Okay. Himala. You will express the truth, okay. And as soon as you express the truth, I feel like there will be har har harmony and balance in this relationship. The yin and the yang. Soulmate, basically, right? Hmm. Look at that. So, what's the nature of the moon? The moon nurtures, the sun energizes. The king is the sun, the queen is the moon. Hmm. Right? So, this is Cancer and Leo, basically, also. And I told you that the two of you will have a time of like, okay, we'll have a conversation. One of my biggest regrets is not knowing about Diwali. And I don't want to gatekeep from you guys. Four years ago, I had no money. Now I have my dream home, my dream car, and the most amazing relationship. I created this talisman with the most strongest crystal for this Diwali that helped me manifest my dreams. Amber for fame. Green adventuring for luck. Red jade for soulmate. Amethyst for protection. And citrine for wealth. It took me four years to turn my life around. But for you, it could be at your doorstep tomorrow. So visit my website, eatreadlove.net. Clarity will come out. Full moon is here. Which if you want to manifest, which I'm going to share with you in a little while, this is going to be auspicious for you. Clarity out of the dark which is his coming Diwali, victory of light over darkness. The moon is also, okay, you need something from them, right, Aqua? They need something from you. Uh -huh. But the two of you choose to be distant. Okay. So it's like mirroring each other. It's like, I don't know, when I want them, they don't want me, and then, you know, vice versa. So it's more of like a tug of war at this point. It's like push and pull between you and your person. But the two of you are intertwined, okay? Like an infinity symbol, basically, right? Infinity symbol, okay? Um, one, we already understand, like with Saturn in your first house, uh, it's you're doubling down on a lot of things. You're working hard on anything, okay? This is the most hardest time of your life as far as relationship, just health on its own, um, you know, if I'm being honest here, the struggle is real, okay? This is what you're saying here and what you're experiencing, okay? But we can always change that struggle, okay? Remember, as an Aquarian myself, I mean, look at me. Mm -hmm. Do I look like a... No, because I manifest, okay? Just this card. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, having the Justice card is the time where... Look at that, yin and yang again, the balance. Everything is about balance for you. It's, is it a credit card balance? What kind of balance? <laughs> because it's a bank balance. What do I get in this connection, in this relationship? Okay? So there's that part of like, what do I get? I put this effort, this is a scale, is Libra, and the full moon, uh, not the full moon, um, the sun is going to go to Libra. So it's a defining, it's a defining moment in this relationship. 
things will get settled basically in between the 16th of October and then November 16th when it's uh, Libra season. Remember, I do say their astrology. So if you're a person who's saying, it's like, yeah, you want, you know what's up? I want victory in this situation. Well, definitely use the moonstone here, okay? If you want victory um, in your situation. In regards to relationship, I feel like this relationship, okay? And then you get this for free with the Miracle Diwali, of course. There's, there's protection here. One is for fame. Actually, the fame would probably work with you about like strengthening your relationship. This one, okay? And of course, there's that soulmate one here. Opportunities in luck and the money magnet, okay? When you get this, you will get a lamp, okay? Together with your free soulmate reset here. Um, I need you to meditate on it. It's actually good because this is fire. This is Agni. Um, for you to meditate using fire, especially with regards to your relationship. When you light it up, okay, it has a specific oil and you can choose different oils as well. Um, meaning if it's an extra but it comes with it, it comes with it already um you look into it and then you meditate and then there is an answer that's being going to be provided to you so that way you will be basically justice card victorious so we're going to go into deep meditation it's a fire meditation i do it every time okay so that's why i'm sharing that technique with you okay so things are about to get settled you want or you want things to settle to your favor why not okay I told you. Okay. Mm. Oh, the moonstone. Mm. Victory with regards to relationship. Mm. Cards will never lie. And the Ace of Cups with the Justice card and the Page of Cups. It feels like two people would choose to understand each other's feelings first. Okay. So how they feel. How you feel, what you think of them, and then vice versa. Yeah. So there's that kind of energy. Um, so it's like, see, finally, like you're seen, right? Your efforts, your energy. Um, you know, like I'm seen, Sal. I'm seen. You know, it's like it's like my efforts. There's acknowledgement. Okay. I feel like when you came into this relationship, either you were blinded or what, enamored. Uh -huh by the connection there's everything was just uh, rainbows and butterflies you know and then there was some dark sides of, of course here with the moon card you know it's like there's always a darker side uh, you know there's always for the moon there's always uh, something hidden now you're gonna see it right hmm. let me see okay let me see let me see because you got victory with the uh, with the ace of cups okay. now when i said that okay decision has to be made um, I feel like in, as much as you can, Aquarian, be friendly, okay. be civil. Because there, I'm seeing here there, there will be a spark of like something triggers you. You know, we need to be control of our mind because our mind controls our thoughts and our thoughts and then what we speak of. And if we can, uh, we can manifest anything. Okay, because the mind is that powerful. The moon is actually your mind. Forgot to mention that. Okay, so if you want to resolve this, because I see a strong chance. Okay, yeah. Three of Pentacles, King of Cups. Oh, three sixty we call it, or I call it. Okay, from something that you felt like, oh, it's not gonna work. I'm done. Okay, to like, oh, it's about to work. Okay, so something that you don't expect. Is that this person expresses their nature or like how they truly deeply feel okay, not just to you but about the partnership remember this is justice that's why a lot of relationship will be put into micro uh, a microscope because um, Sun is in Libra and it's a partnership so anywhere the anywhere that the luminaries or the Sun um, goes in it brightens it so the logic of the relationship, what is the nature, what do you get, and what they get, and what do you give, and vice versa, in order for you to have a harmonious Three of Pentacles right here, connection. Okay? Something's turning around, huh? That's good. Okay. But just don't forget, okay? Today's the last day to get it, guys. Okay, if you are manifesting to have a successful relationship, 
Join the hundreds every day. Ooh, okay. Who has already shown results or seen results at, at, in their life. Oh, yes. Slow and steady, they say, right? Okay, I like this card. Yeah. Because you have here the Knight of Pentacles. Reassessing the situation. Re-evaluating what's going on before you make that decision. Right. Okay. I'm going to fast forward a time. Okay. Fairy, fairy, fairy does. Okay. By next year, okay, Aquarian, I don't know if I share this with you or maybe another sign. I would require some of you for an invitation. Okay. By next year. The nodes will move and the nodes will move to your sign. Rahu in the first. Well, Saturn is there also. And Ketu in the seventh. It's by next year. Because I keep saying this to the Aquarian. They're not going anywhere. And I keep saying also to the Leo. Okay. I don't know if you connect with the Leo. They're not going anywhere. Okay. This is... Uh, we have this saying in, in the Philippines. In uh, Filipino saying, Sa hinaba hin uh, sa haba haba ng prosesyon sa kangkungan, hindi sa kangkungan pumulutin iba at I forgot. No. The, you know, how the procession is so long, you know, like a procession, like a, I don't know, festival, something like that. Uh, it all leads to the church. So how long has this been going? Uh -huh. It will lead to a marriage in a relationship. Because you got the Hierophant right here. Okay, so the journey, right? It's slow, it's struggle, you know. But the journey, journey, <laughs> okay. To, for you to be with the soulmate, you got a Hierophant, Justice, and the Ace of Cups, right? The Hierophant is marriage, union, relationship, partnership, um, structure, traditional marriage also. So this is like coming into one, to become one. And when both are combined, the sun and the moon, okay, together, okay, that's when the partnership is established. Well, it's tick-tock, because the time for you to manifest this is until the 